Hey guys, what's going on? Today we answer some questions. First question, which speaker did you use in the Marshall DSL-20 versus the Marshall 2525H in the mix comparison? Uh, it was a combination of a Chinese-made G12M Greenback and a Celestion V30. Question two, would the combination of a Celestion G12M and G12H sound good in a 412? two and two, or just in a 212, one and one. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The custom cab I built has both the G12M and the G12H, the Heritage Series greenbacks in that cab. So absolutely, they sound good together. I like that cab for a lot of the Friedman amps, uh, the Marshalls, sounds great. So definitely try that if you haven't. Um, I don't necessarily think you need to have the Heritage Series, but you know, the Heritage to the, the, the Chinese made, they do sound different. So you can't go wrong. They're all good speakers. Question three, the Gibson Acoustic Duel, which sounded better in the room, the J45 or the Gibson Hummingbird Pro? I really like the J45. I think overall that guitar is louder in the room. Um, it does project a little bit more. The Hummingbird Pro is a little darker, but I, I do like both of them. I think it, like a lot of guitars, it depends what you're going for, but I think the J45 45 wins the overall volume award in that comparison. Question four, what is my favorite DSL 20 settings? I would say check out my in the mix videos. I tend to find settings I really like with different guitars and that's what I make the comparisons out of. Um, as far as the in the mix ones, the, the normal amp comps, it's just me fiddling with knobs for whatever guitar I've got to see what sounds decent. So I, I, I would check those comparisons out. Those are generally some of my favorite settings, but you'll you'll hear Les Pauls um, with, you know, 57s or 57 pluses, the P90s, probably an SG one out there too. I think I used a Gibson Explorer at some point. So yeah, definitely check those out. The, the Marshall isn't necessarily my favorite of those amp comparisons uh, for those in the mix videos, but as far as the settings in the videos, those are probably some of my favorite with those guitars. So it should give you a, a wide variety of different tones. Fifth question, have I changed the DSL 20 HR tubes? No, I have not. They are the stock tubes. I haven't messed with any of the tubes. I will say that I, I don't like to mess with tubes for all the amp comparisons, just because if you go out and purchase an amp based on one of my videos, I want you to be able to dial in the same setting if you have a similar guitar and get that tone. I've gotten out of that game a little bit. I find that's a rabbit hole and I tend to mess with tubes for amps that I really like and I wanna fine tune. If I'm using in the studio here to do comparison videos or just mess around with temporarily, I typically don't change stock tubes. Please check out the Patreon page. It's nice to see some involvement there. So if you want isolated tracks, tabs to any of my in the mix comparisons, definitely check that out. So far we got one video up and and, uh, we'll be making more. And if you like any of the tracks I've got in the mix comparisons, I'm growing that library so you guys can download that stuff and then you get the tracks. But it is one of the tiers. So for six bucks, you get like the catalog. So definitely check that out. I am building that up. So give me a little bit of time. If you have any questions, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.